Hi. There's a concept in production engineering that you should stop the defective material at the lowest possible stage in your production timeline. By that I mean the quicker you stop a defective material in your production pipeline the lower the amount of loss it would be for you let me rephrase it the quicker you you pinpoint and you remove the defective element in the production cycle the cheaper it will be for you in the long run it simply means if there are 10 steps in your production this is from in you know, a production engineering world and you found that your product was defective on the ninth stage a oh man you would have made a lot of loss but if you had better systems and indicators to tell you about the defective product on let's say first or the second or third initial phases of the production cycle your losses will be much lower because you have more leverage by removing or making modifications in your uh, production process so this was what i'd read somewhere this was what I, I was told by a few people in production engineering as well but i generalized this statement what if i use this statement in my life in my personal life professional life in my business what does that translate to it simply means people you know processes can be modified but even about people who are not fitting your world view who are not in sync with uh, what where you want to go in the larger picture you should think about it and remove such people as soon as possible from your life i just want to give a disclaimer here that it's okay to have people who are having different opinion than you for some times in life as in you can't expect everybody to be in sync with your ideas all the time no that's not expected but i'm not talking for that about that case as well people will have different ideas and they will you know object your opinion that's perfectly fine what is most important is that there's a difference between having somebody who has difference of opinion and having people who are toxic okay as in who would oppose you for the sake of opposing you that's not healthy at all if somebody has a nice argument against you and their their point is valid you should be the first one to accept it but that's another case what i'm talking about it even personal life and professional life you will find people who will just oppose you for the sake of opposing there might not be any logical uh, description behind their opposition to your ideas so you will figure that out and i don't have to tell you if you are listening to this video by now you know those people who they are who just oppose you for the sake of opposing and that's toxic you will not be living a healthy life around them so as soon as possible as soon as you can do it you should get rid of them you know it's not their fault it's not your fault it's their nature it's your nature and they will be causing less damage to you they'll be less toxic to you the quicker you remove that you remove them from your life that's what i've learned and you know it's just ideology there's nothing wrong with those people it's just that your way of thinking is in complete opposition to whatever way of thinking they have so just keep that in mind and don't be sad when you have to take tough decisions and remove people from your life it's part and parcel of being a business owner you will meet a lot of people just have that in mind
Enjoy.